It's Nern TV! Hello mga katropa! Ayos ba tayo dyan? Ako, ayos lang ako dito sa San Diego, California. Naandito tayo ngayon sa aking kwarto, uh, bedroom ko, and uh, nasa harap ako ng computer ko ngayon dahil uh, meron akong mga uh, mga ano tawag doon, mga problems tungkol sa uh, pag observa ng uh, spring equinox. What we're gonna try to do is uh, try to solve two problems. Uh, one problem is the one that I noticed last uh, or this year uh, in March nung inobserbahan ko yung uh, spring equinox uh, na realize ko na yung horizon na nakikita ko on Mount Helix dito sa San Diego ay mountain range okay ibig sabihin elevated so uh, according to the apps no ang sunrise uh, uh, March 19 2023 ang sunrise is around 6:54 right but according to Ferrin who was with me we didn't see the sun uh, uh, showing up or rising up until 7.01 so there's a time difference between uh, the sun rising at sea level right and then the sun rising on the elevated uh, mountain range that I see uh, on top of Mount Helix so yung problema na yun, I have to figure out uh, how to correct my uh, post or my uh, yung vertical uh, post na ginagamit ko to mark the uh, due east okay and the second one I'm gonna try to uh, do is to uh, <coughs> map out or uh, track the positions of the sun each month at the beginning of each month Okay, according to uh, the Enoch calendar or Torah calendar. Okay, so yun ang gagawin natin. So let's start Watch out for my next video. Okay, first let's get this smaller. Okay, lagay natin dito. And then let's start. Let's start the Stellarium software. Okay, so before we start, no, I'd like to explain kung paano ba tong setup na to. How come I see this kind of setup? Okay, so uh, sinetap ko to no, like so that subscribe. makikita natin yung sea level, right? Yung sea level, uh, kung nakikita ko yung sea level. no. Unfortunately, dito nga sa San Diego, if I look east, I won't see this. Instead, what I will see are mountain ranges. See, uh, and uh, you probably already saw it on my previous videos where uh, I tried to observe the uh, spring equinox. And as you can see in that video, I was looking at a mountain range. Okay, which was the, uh, uh, the mountain ranges uh, uh, in California before you get to Texas. That's what I see there. Uh, in this scenario, in this simulation, I replaced the uh, the mountain range into an ocean. Okay, and that way I can see the actual horizon right here, the sea level horizon as the sun moves up. Now, in real time, uh, I won't be able to see this because I'm in San Diego. Okay, but there are places where you can see this. Uh, for example, if you live in the Philippines, uh, in places like Siargao, uh, Samar Islands, you know, or uh, in the Tacloban area, you will see the sun rise 
on the Pacific Ocean. So here, in, if you're in the Philippines, right, you see the Pacific Ocean here, and then right outside you see the sunrise on top of the Pacific Ocean. That's how you see it in those places in uh, in the Philippines. Also, in places uh, in the U.S., uh, there are places like uh, Florida, Carolina, uh, San, uh, 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 New Jersey, you know, Baltimore. Those areas over there. Uh, if you face east, you will see the the uh, the you will see the Atlantic Ocean, right? And if you're in that area in the east coast of the United States, you will see the sunrise over the horizon, the sea level horizon of the uh, Atlantic Ocean. See now, uh, if you were in uh, in Europe, uh, it's gonna be a little harder because in Europe uh, it'll be just like in San Diego. You look to the east and you'll see mountain ranges. Uh, however, there might be places there where uh, you can actually see land, right? Uh, a, a, a flat land where it's level or almost level with the uh, the sea level so i don't know where that place would be but it would most probably be a place in in europe where uh, if you face east you will see a desert okay so what you see is a desert and then the horizon and then the sun rising in the morning so basically that's how i've set up my my uh, my simulation here i'm actually simulating a, a location in the on the earth where sunrise is seen as rising on on the sea level as in like looking in the pacific ocean okay so okay let's let's move on to the next uh, point that i'm trying to make uh, let's, uh, okay, I'm going to control the time and I'm going back to uh, March uh, 19, please like and subscribe, 2023, which was only a few months ago and I believe uh, the time that they said the sunrise was going to be is, is uh, around 6.54 so let's see if uh, this is uh, uh, correct okay so I just uh, put the entire uh, simulation on pause right there right and now let's click on this so that we can see uh, the Sun okay and then here it is Here's east. I put it on the X. Okay. And yeah, there you go. That's uh, March 19, 2023. And as before, I've said that this is a spring equinox because it's it's uh, intersecting due east. Right? Okay. So let's do a little uh, uh, simulation. We're going to run the time and see how the sun rises right and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna stop the time at 701 as ferrin had said before uh, a few weeks a uh, few months ago when we were there uh, exploring right okay so let's run it okay it's running now and i'm gonna uh fast forward okay and there you go and what I'm going to do is, I'm going to stop it at 7.01. 7.01. Okay, so this is the position of the sun at 7.01 uh, in the morning of March 19. And as you can see, uh, because of the elevation... The sun was already up this high above the sea level by the time we saw the sun rising. Okay, that's because, 
right here is the elevation of the of the uh, the east uh, side of uh, Mount Helix as I see it. Okay, the elevation is right around here, right? It's right right around here. So what I need to do is draw a line between due east right here. Wait, uh, let me see. Okay, and move this. Okay, so this point here, and try to figure out that point as it reaches uh, this height. Okay, so what I'll do now is, okay, let's put this on pause again. And this time, I'm going to move, oops, I'm going to move the time again to 7.54. Okay, and I'm gonna move it down some more. Okay, and the reason for that is I want to see. Yeah, Please uh, like uh, and subscribe. There, see. So okay, so at this point in the simulation, the sun is just about rising. It the time is at six fifty three, right? And I can see that point there. You see it? Now I'm gonna try. To remember that point on the sun right and then move the time to 701 701 there it is now I can remember that uh, the point on the sun where this point was was around this area right there right so now all I have to do is uh, I'm going to have to uh, triang triangulate, okay? This point here, I need this point here, and then this point here, and then a, per per uh, a perpendicular line, a vertical line, down here, okay, at the third point. And this should tell me the actual uh, loca uh, degree uh, by which I could... I should point my compass okay so from here I'll draw a line here to here right and then draw a line down here and that point right here should give me the uh, uh, corrected uh, uh, direction of the compass you know what I mean so what I'm gonna need to do is move my post which is originally here right and move the post here at this area in that way i am able to compensate for the travel of the sun from sea level all the way to uh, uh, the uh, horizon level uh, where I'm at in, in uh, Mount Helix. See, I'm trying to compensate for the elevation of the mountains. See, so I will have to move my, uh, my uh, post to around 91 degrees and... 91 degrees and about 10 degree uh, 10 seconds so right here or not not even 10 maybe only about 0.8 or something but yeah basically that's how, how I'm gonna solve the problem of elevation uh, when I uh, when I do the observance of the spring equinox. Don't forget to click on the notification bell. Thank you again for watching. Please support our channel by liking, subscribing now. It's free. Yeah, mga katropa, hanggang dito na lang. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.